Hello everybody, this is Chrome Donut here. Today I'm going to be showing you my torpedo build on the Fleet Tactical Escort Tier 6. Alright, now I don't ha have the most expensive stuff, I'm just using what I have and I've had some mild success with this. Alright, so what I'm using for weapons in the front, I have the Terran Task Force Photon Torpedo. Mark 14, Harping Torpedo Launcher, Mark 14, Quantum Face Torpedo, Mark 14, and the Breed Transfacet Cluster Torpedo, Mark 14. My F weapons, I have the Gravimetric Photon Torpedo, Mark 13, the Mod War Cluster Torpedo, Mark 13, and the Romulan Hyperplasma Torpedo, Mark 12. Uh, for the deflector shield, I am using the adapted Mako set for the two-piece bonus. Which, the two-piece bonus for this this set is... It is plus 25% torpedo damage and you get auxiliary power. And your crew recovers a little faster. Uh, for impulse, I just have the quantum phase combat impulse engine. Didn't really know what to put there. It seemed nice just for the auxiliary power. Uh, the warp core, using the Elite Fleet Plasma Integrated Warp Core with the amp. The amp, you get at rank mark 13, you get 3.3% damage for all your power levels above 75. If you notice, all my power levels are at least 75. So that's a, a bonus, like 12% damage I'm getting. Now the device slot, I have the Delta Reinforcements Beacon there. I know you don't need it there, but I have it there so I don't actually like, delete it from my inventory. I have done it before with the Nimbus one. <laughs> Alright, for my consoles, my tactical consoles, I have three Mark 12 of the Warhead Yell Chambers. They give 20% torpedo weapon damage. I don't have enough resources to get the fleet ones yet. And I got the uh, Zero Point Energy Conduit, Mark 12, and the Byron Neural Diffusion Circuits, Mark 14. Science slots, I have the Temporal Disentanglement Suite, Mark 14, Ultra Rare. The Tecchio Kinetic Converter, Mark 14, Ultra Rare. And I have the Assimilated Module, Mark 14, Ultra Rare. In my engineering slots, I have the Ferrofluid Hydraulic Assembly Mark 14, which is kind of crucial for this build because they, you get the uh, 0.5 share torpedo retard time. And it's also a two piece with the Terran Photon Torpedo. A two piece bonus for this is a bonus 13.3% projectile damage, which helps out a lot. I'm also running the Proton Part. Particle Stabilizer Mark 12. This is a two piece set with the Gravimetric Photon Torpedo. And the two piece for this set gives you 26.6% photon projectile weapon damage. Which the main front torpedo I'm going to be firing is a Terran Task Force Photon Torpedo Launcher. So, a boost of that damage will help out quite a bit. And my last console is the unique console that comes with this ship, is the Quantum Warhead Module, which it's passive, it just gives a bonus 10% torpedo damage, and it holds charges and it can fire 6 torpedoes at one time. I typically use this, it's best to use this when you like, you queue up like a torpedo spread and that split second you can fire it off because when you fire your torpedoes it shares a more to cool down. Let's look at the traits. Oh, uh, the actual starship. What seems like the best out of all these with the abilities I use. One of them that I have noticed is pretty nice is the improved pedal to the metal. It is from the pilot tree, specialization tree. And the longer you stay at <coughs> full throttle, it increases the amount of damage you do, which helps out a lot. Alright, for the space traits. I'm using Precision from the Romulan, which gives 4% critical hit chance. 
uh, Omenic Kinetic Shearing, which is very important for this kind of build, unless you're able to kill enemies within a few sh shots, I recommend this trait. Basically, if you're, all your torpedoes do an additional 40% of their outgoing kinetic damage as a shield penetrating damage over time on the hull. Uh, from the turn rep, I have a torpedo pre-fire sequence, which makes my destructible torpedoes fly faster, and it gives me 12.5% more torpedo damage. And from the Dyson rep, I'm using the best targeting systems, which gives me 16% crit severity. Uh, the active rep ones, I'm using the biomolecular shield generator, the Ring Tetrion Cascade, the and the Kakasa Tachyon emission, just to put something there. For the space traits, I have Efficient Captain, which gives me plus 30 Starship Warp Core efficiency, which increases power levels when they're low. I'm uh, using Intense Focus, which over time increases my accuracy and shield penetration. Kinetic Precision, which uh, gives my the Bonus 10% shield bleed through. A pet of recognition, which increases my defensive shield hardiness longer I'm in combat. Fleet coordinator, which increases my damage based on team side. Innocuous, which gives me 1.5% uh, crit severity and lowers the threat that I deal, which helps me take less damage as I survive longer in combat. Operative gives me crit chance and crit severity. Projectile training, 5% projectile weapon damage. Thrill Seeker, 15% flight, in full and full speed. And then the Warp Theorist, which is warp core potential, which gives, increases your power level. Alright, now for, for duty officers. The one, the most important duty officer for this is the projectile weapons officers that ha reduce your recharge your torpedoes. I have three of these equipped, and what they do is each one of these gives you a 20% chance to improve the recharge time of your torpedoes by five seconds. If, so if you have three of them, you have th every time you fire a torpedo, you have three 20% chances to reduce the cooldown. Firing the weapons. You shoot the fast one. The other two bridge duty officers I just have. Those are my bridge officers. I'm getting two copies of Tactical Team 1, Attack Pattern B3. And I'm running attack pattern omega three. For engineering bellies, I have emergency power to shields. Though I might change that. For science, I'm running science team and hazard emitters too. Now, eventually, I'm gonna have to reset my skills because I don't have any points in the projectile weapons. This is good. If you're going to use torpedoes as your primary weapon, I recommend putting the points into these. It'll help out a lot more. Now, with this build, I always manage to pull at least 20k, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. And queue up for some this build works out. I infected the condo advanced. In terms of escort wise, there are a lot better ones like people tell me the pilot escorts are a lot better than this. I use this ship because I like it and I, I got it in the bundle. I mostly bought it for the Klingon and Romulan ships. And 
because hopefully people accept us so we can get this run started. One is fairly simple. You can take out the Cuban spears.
From this time forward, your culture will adapt to service ours.
technological and biological distinctiveness to our own. Alright, that's all for this video. Let's, if, you, if you like it or you got any ideas how I could improve this, just, just let me know. And I'm always up for criticism. Doesn't bother me none. And this is my first video that I've recorded voicing, so if I sound kind of off, kind of the way I talk. Alright, and hope you enjoyed it. Have a good